Show him, show him, show him, little. You better ask you. Then doing a quick little video on temptation. The demon to play in your mind, trying to seduce you to go back to your world, go back to the world, go to the big, go back to the wicked idolatry that you've committed the world, and trying to get you back to go back to your old man. So now you got a little quick, do a quick little video about the old lust, the old things you used to do, the old things you want to do, those types of things. But of course, same. Call me Hawa. By Shamba Shak Malaka of Shah, because I've raised on the qualification to Yahweh. Now, my great being, have the earth's great will think therein. Hope on lust will think the fill of lust at the end. By Shamba Shak Malaka of Shah, became my savior, and I have raised on my child back, but I love it. I went through and righteous will of the Father, of course. Will of the Only Father. Will of the Mighty God, will of the Prince, and righteousness of peace. Will of the Raghadi Yahweh, Raghadi Yahweh of Shah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And Amen. Let's get to it. We get this in First Peter chapter one, verse six. Where need you rejoice greatly, though now for a season, if need be, near in heaviness, through many full temptations. So you may be in, maybe going through temptations right now. Maybe a woman, maybe a woman hit you up on DMs, she's trying to get in with you. She asks you for your. She's trying to ask you for your number. She's trying to. You're trying to ask you where your address is at. You're saying, you're saying your photos, the photo of her new skirt, of a new dress, a new skirt that she has bought. You're saying, how it look? Does it look good on me? Is it too big? Is it too small? And you may get tempted. She like it. She like it. Well, you may be getting tempted by it. You may be getting seduced and manipulated by that. Now you think of reverse thoughts. Now, next thing you know, the woman's married in the first place. And now you commit adultery. Because you get seduced. You got tricked by Satan. But reading on, that the trial of your faith be much more precious, be more be much more precious than a, than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory. At the appearing of Yahusha Mashiach. So, it's just you getting tried at the moment. You getting tempted by these worldly things of the world that don't matter, that aren't prosperous, that aren't helpful in any way. You getting tempted by these things to go back to one to them and to, and to indulge in them. That's just you being tried like that's just you being tried like you're being tried in the fire. Which of course is gonna happen when you're in when you're in this truth. You like it. Well, let's get this in maybe we'll get it right here. James chapter four verse seven. Submit yourself therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. You need to flee from flee from Satan. The Satan trying to get at you. Satan trying to hit you up every day with people like small things. With the sauce on your mind, sauce on your head. The seducing demon, they may not even sing it to the demon. You may just think it's like a good bonus. Or a good thing for the flesh. Like damn someone trying to offer you food at your job. You don't know there's pork in it. You don't realize the fact that the person trying to offer you up pork and some damn shrimp hidden in the food and you still realize it. You think the good, you think the good, good friend. You think the good gift and a good friend. You think like that and not be diligent and not be vigilant in his sin and his devices. They're gonna get suited out, to say the least. Here to the first Peter chapter five, verse eight. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. So Satan trying to look for you, Satan's hunting you down, Satan trying to use the things that you seem pleasing, you think are pleasing, you think be good for the flesh, you think will be not that bad. Those things, those are things Satan's gonna use against you. Like, like I was saying before, same I use a woman, same I use them. Same I use, well, I'm gonna say I use against it. Uh, 
money. They might use money against you. Trying to tempt you with a bonus. Trying to tempt you with a thousand dollars. Trying to tempt you with your... Trying to tempt you to go to work on a Sabbath day. Get the extra money that you need to pay off the debt. To pay off the rent. You might try to tempt you with a lot of things actually in the street. Because anything can be temptation. Anything. The computer. TV. You walking outside. I mean, you may walk outside. You may, you may see Jake having them full fledged party next door. You're invited. Yet somehow Jake's to start calling you over like, hey, yo. Yo, you want to come over, man? Come on. Got the weed. Got hookers. Got all the things you want. Yeah, come on, man. The part of bumping. Got an F stereo on blast. You got them rave lights all over the place. That could be happening. But you gotta resist that. You guys to say, nah, nah, I don't wanna do that, sorry. Look at it right here. In first period to the two for the eleven. Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims abstain from fleshly lust. With war against the with war against the soul. The same may use your own must to get you. The old things you may find pleasurable. Things you used to find in the world pleasurable. Things you might think were good. Things you might think that are harmless. And now, now that you stop doing those things, same try to recur your recurs those mind you go to sauce in your mind. You might say like, Yeah, smoking a bullet not that bad. You know, there's no real thing against it, you know. They're not really that off. And there's a law against it, and you know. They may be doing that in your mind. They may be trying to play you. Play you with all the seats, the things of the world. Your ease, you may, you may, try, to seduce, you may be trying to seduce you to pull on pants again. They, mm, not that bad, you know. I mean, I just, I mean, just for, just for, just for an outfit. I mean, only gonna be a couple of seconds. It's not that bad. See, I'm gonna try to do that. We we'll get to here in Second Timothy chapter two, verse twenty-two. We also use for lust, but for righteousness, faith, charity, peace, charity, peace with them that call on the Lord of pure heart. <laughs> so you need. You need to flee away from those youthful lusts, those things of old, the things for you used to be tempted by in the beginning. But you're a new man. You gotta get rid of the old man before it takes over you, before saints, before Satan uses it against you and sifts you out by it. But this is it's easy to the four or twenty two, and you put off concern to form a compensation in the old man, which a corrupt according to deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. And that you put on the new man, which is after God, is created in righteousness and true holiness. So, you need to be putting away that old man. That old life you used to have. The old things you used to do. Because you're a new man now. You're forged in the Lord. You can't get into the old temptations of the past. And the old, and the old wicked things that you used to have burned. And you had a burden and have a strength over you. Thinking about the temptation, I get this in Luke chapter Luke chapter twenty two verse forty. And when he was at the place, he said unto them, Free that ye enter not into temptation. So your house shall sit there. You should be praying that you should be entering into temptation at these times. In the last days the sin is working overtime. Sin going harder and harder in these last days it sips out those that are unworthy. And sit down those who are unrighteous. So we should be trying to resist them and resist the temptations he tried to throw against them, throw against us. We should always have in mind that this is the end of the world. We should be going to temptation at the end of the world. Let's get this in Revelation. The twelve or twelve. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell on the earth. 
will be for to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil they go down to come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knows that he have but a short time. But Satan may be getting on to you because these are the last days. He going hard and hard on the saints in these last days. Because he knows he doesn't have a lot of time on them. And when that new because when we get saved, and when we get the new covenant, Satan not gonna be on us. So this is the last chance for Satan to come at you, and to destroy you, and tempt you and set you out. So you need, so you need to be staying firm in the scriptures. You need to be staying firm in the word. Because if not, you can be sifted out by temptation, by the lust of the flesh. Look into the mark. To the four. Verse. Mark chapter 4, verse 18. And these are they which are sown among the thorns, such as hear the word, and the cares of this life, the cares of this world, and the deceitful rich, deceitfulness of riches, and the lust of other things entering in, choke the word, it becomes unfruitful. <laughs> so you shouldn't be laying the things of this world hinder you from doing the work. Hinder you from doing the work, doing the Lord's work and hinder you for doing your due offering to the Lord. If you don't do your due offering, the Lord's not going to set you. You're not doing the thing that's pleasing to the Lord, and instead putting the, putting the things of the world first, the Lord's not going to hear you, nor accept you, nor listen to your prayers, nor listen to your callings. He's going to ignore you flat out, because you're not doing the work for the Lord. And that could happen if you get, under, you get tempted. By Satan. Because if you let Satan rule over you, then you'll be care you'll be in the cares of Satan. You'll be in the ways of Satan instead of the Lord. You get this real quick in the second Tim in the second Timothy chapter two or twenty seven. So you think of Timothy chapter 2, which way 6. And that they may recover themselves as a snare of the devil, who are taken them, who are taken captive, who are taken captive by him at his will. So we should be not we shouldn't be being captive and being taken in slavery by Satan these last days. We shouldn't be being brought back into slavery again. Are you being brought back to slavery by Satan, being ruled over him once more? The Lord's not going to accept you. Sorry. The Lord's not going to accept you. You're being ruled over by Satan, by his deceitful, by his wicked ways. Look at this in Romans chapter. That's like not Romans, uh, for Corinthians, for Corinthians chapter. What was it, 11? No, I feel like it's 10. For Corinthians chapter 11, or, t or 10, sorry. For Corinthians chapter 10, verse, verse 20. But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice, they sacrifice the devils, and not to God. I would not that ye should have fellowship with devils. Ye cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. Ye cannot be partakers of the Lord's table. And the table of devils. Sure. And of the table of devils. So you can't be part with the Lord and with Satan. You can't have two masters in the truth. If you have two masters, you gotta serve one. You gotta love one and hate the other. So in this case, you can't serve Satan by giving in to temptations. You can be given in to a deceitful ways and deceitful lusts. So you do that, then the Lord's not going to be with you, to say the least. The Lord's not going to be with you if you're with Satan. You can't be with the Lord and Satan at the same time. Oh, let me get this. Let me look at this real quick. In Ephesians chapter 4, verse... 
27. Because he used to four over 27. You need to give place to the devil. And that's plain right there. Don't give place to the devil. Don't give place to the wicked ways. Don't give place to the wicked thoughts. Is in your head. Don't give place to your wicked flesh. And with the deceit of the flesh trying to corrupt you and destroy you in these final times. And did you do that? You're not, you're not going to make it. Because the hour of temptation is coming up real soon. You yeah, haven't realized already. The hour of temptation is coming up real soon. And if you get tempted by that, there's no point in it. Everything you did was fruitless if you get tempted in the hour of temptation. And you don't get out of it. Instead, you get trapped and seduced and destroyed because you didn't make it. He didn't overcome our temptation. Look at this in like a revelation. Chapter Two actually. So I keep this. Look at Shalak. Here's the book of Revelation. There's a tree. Verse 10. If thou hast kept the word, my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world, and try them to dwell upon the earth. So if you stay with the Lord and avoid temptation, avoid the lust of the avoid the lust of the spirit, Shalak. Shalak. And with the lust in the mind, the Lord going to keep you from our temptation. The Lord going to make you endure it, or this male just straight, maybe just straight avoid you from our temptation entirely. He may just save you. But I don't know your lots. But the point is, when you're with the Lord, and you're sticking true to the Lord's sake. The Lord can keep you from temptation and from destruction, from the wickedness of the flesh. If on that hour, we may be going up to the guillotine, maybe put the book on me, maybe about to be put to death. Who knows what could happen? Maybe get drowned, maybe get hanged, maybe get shot or killed, maybe put to the test to see whether or not you believe or not. And you're gonna decide in that time. I gotta fold. I gotta say truth for the Lord's sake. I gotta give up. Or do you continue with the faith to the end? Are you going to give into temptation? Or are you going to endure it? <laughs> sure. And that's basically what this hour of temptation is. Are you going to fold and give up? Or are you going to stay strong and diligent for the Lord? Now, if you're falling for temptation now, what makes you think you got to, you got to survive an hour, of an hour of temptation? Where your life is literally put on the line. And you have to decide between your flesh and the Lord. What what makes you think that you're falling for the Kalisha, the Kalisha, whatever, now? Or what makes you think you're gonna fall you're falling for those pork meals now? And what makes you think you're gonna you bring all sorts of sin and wickedness now because you're falling into temptation it makes you think you're gonna survive and endure the hour of temptation. You're not. Simple point. So, if you're enduring temptation now, you're enduring those wicked things now, and you're enduring those wicked spirits that try to seduce you and destroy you now, you're going to endure this entire temptation if it be as the Lord will. But the point is, endure temptation. Endure the temptation in the flesh and not give up. Because if you do, the Lord's going to abandon you and take away the Holy Spirit from you as you could say true for him. Let me get this in the first Timothy. It's like a two seat. Shall I? Shall I keep buzz? Keep buzz. Shall I Yeah, this is here. 
The book of Second Timothy, chapter two, verse eleven, is a faithful saying. For if we be, if, for if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. So, if we die for the Lord, we shall also get brother resurrected. Like if the Lord goes resurrected, because in the last days we'll be resurrected at the time. All the dead will. Read on. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. So just like Yahweh shall suffer, we will also reign when he is like he it's like I guess just like how Yahweh shall suffer, we will also suffer. But if we endure that suffering, we will also reign with him as well. Should I? If we deny him, he will also deny us. So if we deny the Lord, if we deny and forsake the Lord, by us giving up in the flesh, and giving up in the wickedness of the flesh, and giving up because of temptation, because we got deceived by Satan, he will deny us. And we don't want that. If we do that, it's just the end of, it's the end of us. We lose our Holy Spirit, and next thing we know, we're back in the world. Back to the unrighteousness we used to commit in the world, back to the ungodliness we used to have. So we don't. We shouldn't be getting tempted by saying these last days and denying the Lord. If we do that, that's the end of us. Read on. If we believe not, yet he abideth faithful, he cannot deny himself. The Lord is going to come back anyway. And if you're believing or not believing, those are the only two choices you have. And you get tempted and you sit not by saying, like, you get set up by sin and tempted it away from the Lord and lose your belief in the Lord. And the Lord's still gonna come back anyway. So you best be found be, what? So you best be found believing the Lord in that time. Cause you gotta save those who believe. Who truly had a faith in him. And you don't have that? You would have said being doubtful, denying him in the head, and replicating your actions and your works. Be going off, being concluded in your lust and the wickedness of your flesh. If you're giving into that in these days because you've been tempted and seduced by sin and not giving heed to the Lord and going toward the Lord for His sake, then the Lord can destroy you, say at least. The Lord when you guys are not giving into temptation, nor giving into the wickedness of the flesh and the wickedness of the mind. Or, or the lust of the spirit. The Lord, of course, against true, saying true, and being diligent for the Lord's sake, enduring for him to the very end, and overcoming the flesh. Of course, it's saying, Call away Yahweh, by Shema Shakma like Yosha, for the praise of the Lord, and to Yahweh, no much for your being, have the earth, pray those things therein, and for the lots of things to fill the last to the end. Bless you, my shock, my life, your shell, make you my savior, the high priest of my children, like my beloved. One true and righteous, the Lord, Father, of course, and the Yoni Father, and the mighty God, the Lord, the person, the righteousness, the peace. For the record of Yahweh, the record of Yahweh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Shalom.